every article of mine always begins with dark and dusky. You know, it has to, as if that qualification, without that, I'm incomplete. When you, when you write about, you know, various actresses who are mostly fair, you don't start with the fair Karina, the fair Aishwarya, or the fair Priyanka. But if it is dark, because it's such an aberration, it's always written about. Um, a lot of people who try to be politically correct, they say, oh, we love the dark skin. In fact, I like dark women more. I'm like, you don't have to like them more. You know, you either like somebody or you don't like. You don't like them or not like them because of their nose or their teeth or their color of the skin or their hair. These are wrong reasons to like someone in any case. Mm, when, when, because I do mostly films that are with real characters, real women, who are many of them who are dark, so it's fine. But when I do, an, let's say, an upper middle class character, you know, a class that I come from, often the directors would come and tell you, listen, this is a slightly upper class character. Do you mind making it a little bit fair? I hope you don't mind. And I'd say, please, are you telling me that only the lower classes women are dark and that nobody across the class or caste or whatever is not? So it's such a mindset. It's such a stereotyping. And we keep perpetuating that, you know. So it is a very dangerous trend, but everybody now in the industry knows that I keep fighting about it and I'm very vocal about it. Every opportunity I get, I speak about it in the hope that, you know, some women will gain that confidence. And a lot of women do come up to me and say, oh, we feel, you know, I've, I've seen parents telling their daughters, see, even she's dark, but she's fine with it and things like that. It's so bizarre, the obsession in this country with fair skin that it's, it's, it's really sad. <laughs> That's all I could say. You know, in, especially in your mainstream, you have to have the woman who's fair. So as it is, um, but thankfully I don't like to do too many mainstream films unless it is a mainstream structure, but the film and the subject is really strong, which very seldom happens. And even if it does, they of course want still stereotypical looking women. My hair is not perfect. As you can see, I've tied it in a bag kind of a clip. And my body is not perfect. And, you know, my... Nothing is perfect. So the hard work that is needed for that kind of perfection, I don't think I can do. I think I have far more interesting things to do in my life than to keep worrying about this. Uh, so I'm sure I've lost out on roles, but it's okay. Thankfully, I'm not a very ambitious actress. It's not like I want to be the best actor in this world or country or whatever. So I'm quite relaxed about it. If interesting and good roles and good films and good stories come to me, and thankfully they do, I choose from that and sometimes they don't and that's fine. I have other things to do that keep me happily busy. Uh, well, there are many now, many fairness creams have come in the market, including the ones for your underarms. Uh, there is a cream now for the vagina, which is bizarre. That And it has a stupid campaign which says that even your private parts to the, you know, to someone who loves you, you must make it fair and I know it's some stupid so you know it's just it's completely crazy the obsession but this is market created as well and you know there is a nexus almost of everybody I mean you see the films it mostly has fair heroines and the ones that were dark before you see their first film and you see the same actresses now there's a huge difference you know they were they would write dark and dusky and now they still write dusky but they're not dusky anymore They've all become like completely white, you know. So it's really sad. You see hoardings, you see advertisements. I remember a, a friend of mine who's also dark. She picked up a magazine and, you know, she said, all beauty magazines are here to make you feel ugly. Because they're always telling you that, you know, you are not good enough. You could do this, you could do that. And I think this is a, really a marketing thing which is harming a lot of people. Because what they're losing is their own self-esteem, their confidence. And for something that they're just born with, I mean, how ridiculous is it? Even though they understand it intellectually, I think the pressure around is so much that it's, you start feeling small and you want to do something about it. It's just something that has become an area of interest, of passion to some extent, because of what it is doing to millions of girls and boys, and especially young girls who feel very pressured, who, you know, whether it's in their workplace, whether it's in their family, they're constantly being told that if you're dark, you won't get married, you won't, nobody will look at you, you won't get a good job. So I think that this obsession that Indians and I think South Asians, um, a lot of developing countries have, but I think it's always like in the Western world, people want to get tanned, in here they want to, you know, become fair. So it's, it's that wanting what you don't have kind of a syndrome. So it's something that over the years has just become 
something that I take up as a cause because I see so many women suffer unnecessarily. I was very fortunate that my parents didn't give me that complex at all. You know, they were that way far more self-assured. They nurtured many other talents and many other skills and all of that instead of worrying about something that you're just born with, whether it's the color of the skin, your nationality, your nose, your whatever. So it's over the years I realized that this does take away the confidence of a lot of people. So some when somebody emailed me saying, we are doing this campaign and we'd like to use sort of your photograph and, you know, a quote from you and all of that. And I said, sure. I mean, if it helps people feel that, oh, you know, there are others who are dark and are not all the time thinking about it or are not obsessed with it or don't feel low about it or, you know, are not complexed about it, then it's, it's great if it inspires somebody good.